What's up guys, Mike Black, Mike the Mac, Mr. Mills, definitely not inside of any buildings. I'm doing an unboxing here for you guys today of this sweet little welder from Amazon.com. It's made by HZXV, X, Hexvagen, H-Z-X-V-O-G-E-N, Mike Black, Mike the Mac, Mr. Mills, definitely not inside of any buildings. Wow, this little selector knob actually looks kind of beat up. I mean, what, were they kicking it around and playing soccer with it or what? But you know what? This welder does a lot. It does TIG and MIG and lifting TIG and spot welding. It has a gas in and a gas out, so all you really need is a regulator. It's got the adapter for the different amperages. It's obviously, it gave you a gas hose, but here's the thing I'm stoked about. Here's your, uh, your hot and your neg right there. But look at this, your TIG setup. What? These are a hundred bucks by themselves. And in a lot of cases, you need, um, in a lot of cases, you really, 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 really need this. And it's at hundred extra dollars, generally. So I am absolutely stoked. So boom, it has the gas dealer for the TIG. I wonder if it thinks it's got a feed set up. No, but it seems to be built fairly freaking well. There is an instruction thing in the bottom, but I know it does lifting TIG and spot welding and impulse, one second impulse welding. It's pretty sweet. I think it was 225 bucks. So you guys tell me what you think of it, man. It came with um, everything except some tungstens, which I'll go get tomorrow. And even the wand has four settings. So it's got power up, power down, power on, power off. And that other one, I think, is a gas purge button. But this is a hell of a little welder. Now, if you go to the Harbor Tool and Freight and Kit or whatever the hell, you're not going to find this unit. You're going to find three little units and then the big money ones for a thousand bucks. For what this is, for the little money that I just put paid, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. Look, the kitties over there already getting into trouble. Boy, you're crazy, bear. So anyways, guys, Mike Black, Mike the Mac, Mr. Mills, definitely not inside of any buildings. Um, I don't know if I'm going to recommend this one yet. I don't get paid by anybody online to do anything, so it's always an honest opinion. But when I watched the videos, I did like how the dude set this, and then they took different videos of doing each little function. So I'm about to get in this thing's tail tomorrow and let you guys know what the business is. And if it's not absolutely bona fide, it's going back. So tell me guys what you think. Tell me any of the places you had good luck buying welders. I know at Harbor Tool and Freight, you only got them crappy ones. Like one little stick welder, another little stick welder, then the $849 MIG welder. I didn't. I want to be able to do TIG and ARC stick welding. You know, that's all the frick I need to ever do is some stick welding. And this one has IGBT, has amperage settings. Wow, I can't wait to get into this thing, guys. Anyway, Mike Black, Mike the Mac, Mr. Mills, definitely not inside of any books, the buildings. We got a regular 110 hookup, and then we got the other adapter for the other setup. Yeah, this thing is sweet, guys. Have a good one. Tell me what you think. Mike Black, I'm gone.